so now if we execute set timeout he, you see here it's executing I'm gonna even execute the number 2 so you see we have two processes here in the browser it's completed there no problem at all you can interact with everything right no problem so it's running and the user interface is available to the user so that's pretty cool you can you could do this on the background whatever it's up to you what how you you're gonna do right okay so the, the return for this method is an ID and that ID is the only way you can identify what you did here because if somehow for some reason you don't want this method to get executed anymore y the only way you can stop it it's calling a, a method a clear timeout that I'm gonna explain in a minute passing this parameter so it's really important to keep this parameter if you wanna execute okay now the other method we have is this set interval and now I'm gonna show to you that the, the syntax pretty much is the same right uh, expression or a method that will get executed and the time that will wait until it calls right you have to remember this is milliseconds the same return it returns an ID that can identify this timer okay but the main difference between set timeout and set interval is if you notice here I call this method number three and then I have to call again so it looks like it's in a loop I, it is get executed right in the text error and then I call again and then it do it, does it do it again and so on so far until I don't want anymore right but the set interval it doesn't need to do that so you, you can see here that I'm calling the function number three it's writing on the text error but I'm not calling again why because this interval will get executed until you close your website or you, s you call the clear interval so this is the main idea the main difference between set and timeout the set timeout will get executed and finish that's it no more if you wanna do it again you have to call it again but the set interval no it's like if you wanna watch if you wanna put a watch in your website you don't wanna make this all the time calling a loop so what you can use you can use set interval that will call every time you can put like every second just call this method it, and it will increase the value of the watch and that's it you don't need this method to call again and again so pretty much this is are this this is the same the basic difference between set timeout and set interval if we run the website now you will see the set interval and set it's the same I can even have all of them now no problem you can see good perfect right so now we have the set interval and set uh, timeout but what I, what if for some reason you don't want that method to get executed anymore so what you can do you can stop the, st the timers and how you can do this there are two methods clear timeout and clear interval of course clear t if you call set in timeout and if you want to clear you you call clear timeout if you call set interval you call clear interval right and as I told you have to pass the ID of the the return because that's the only way you can associate it the method can know which timer you want to close right you want to stop because it can have more than one in your web page so now if we run the website and we click in the set interval set timeout you see there are four going on right now I can just stop and everybody stop all the methods are you see if we press the big loop again the browser is closed and we can't do anything we can have it here you see even everything stopped now it came back again 
so until the finish here every, everything's blocked but here it's just going on if you press stop it just stop so depend on the situation you, you might use set interval or set timeout it's up to you but you have to remember if it's important to keep the ID and pretty much that's it thank you very much hope to talk to you guys soon bye bye